Tim, uh, I believe it was two career best times for you in the backstroke events at Iowa to close out the fall semester. That's a great way to finish off the fall. The team also won that meet. How do you feel uh, senior year, you know, with just about a month to go? And uh, is this going to be the best year yet, it looks like? Yeah, it's definitely looking like the best year yet. I had an awesome invite. Um, definitely have just been all in this year, working really closely with Brian and Dan and just making sure that I'm not leaving anything out there, you know, shooting as high as I possibly can and just trying to end it on the highest note possible. Was there anything you'd point to that was most encouraging about that Iowa Invitational to win that as a team? Yeah, I mean, everybody swam lights out. Like, we swam on par, untapered uh, with our Big Ten meet last year. And if we swim half the meet that I know we can, I think we're going to have a tight race for, tight race in the Big Ten for, you know, one of our highest finishes ever. Danielle, uh, twice now, back-to-back -back years, you were part of a 200 medley relay record. Um, as a freestyle, you're the anchor leg on that. That has to be cool, pretty cool to finish off a record. But also, I was wondering, what's the difference between anchoring a medley relay and being part of a free relay? Um, I guess the difference would be anchoring a medley relay since we're all swimming different strokes. It's a very diverse group that you have. Um, Mainly, we don't really train together as much, um, and if we do, it's not um, a lot of the same stroke. So I guess that's quite a bit different from a free relay, where if it would be the 200 or 4 free relay, we'd all be training together most of the time, and um, I guess have a different aspect to it. And the, as that 200 medley opens up uh, the Big Tens on that Wednesday night, and we had a great picture of you guys from your sophomore year when it was here at Purdue, you know, celebrating that record. That has to be a memory that you'll never forget, you know, opening Big Tens with a record. Yeah, that's, like you said, definitely a memory I'll never forget. That was um, definitely one of my favorite races that I've had here at Purdue. Um, and a really exciting way to start the meet as well. So uh, we'll finish it up here before we get into pref personal preferences with staying home or going or somewhere for winter training. As freshmen and juniors, you guys went to Florida and then Hawaii. Sophomores and seniors, you stayed here. Which do you prefer? Is it almost, uh, is it overlooked a little bit that staying home is maybe nicer than we think? Uh, I'm not going to lie, three weeks in Hawaii, getting a tan, sitting on the beach and working hard is one of the highlights of my four years. And if I could do it every year, I obviously would do it every year. But yeah, staying home, you know, being close to the pool in this great facility, close with all your coaches and trainers and all the weight room staff, like it's really nice just being in the comforts of your own home. Like you can train, you just go home, there's no beaches to go to. so. You're saving a lot of your energy and you're just focusing on practices. Dan likes to say like it's it's like trial and being uh, like a professional swimmer. Like this is our time to you know sit at home and just worry about swimming. And I think training here is awesome when we can do it. Yeah, you make some good points, but I think I agree with your starter there, Tim. That if you could go somewhere every year, why not? And yeah. sure enough, those uh, those trips certainly are memorable. Danielle, I know John's a big fan of staying here. He gets he thinks that they get more accomplished sometimes. Do you agree with him? Um, I have to agree with Tim. Spending up to three weeks in Hawaii is just amazing, especially when you can do it with um, all of your best friends and teammates, um, and especially being like close to all those beaches and um, so many new things that you don't get to experience all the time. Um, but I definitely think when it comes to training, being at home is definitely um, a better thing. I think, like Tim said, we get a lot more rest. Um, we're very familiar with the atmosphere. Um, we're getting a lot of team bonding as well um, going on with that. And I think it kind of shows by the end of the season that we've had a little more rest during that three-week period. All right, so we close out the segment with what we call personal preferences. So I got a sheet here, numbers between 1 and 19. You pick a number. You can't repeat an answer said in front of you. So whatever she says, you can't say. And if he goes first, vice versa. Okay. So ladies first, between 1 and 19, pick a number. Seven. Seven. All right, this is our film favorites category. Give me one here, actor, actress, or director, and maybe think about it this way. If so-and-so is part of or in that movie or show, I'm more likely to watch it. Uh, probably Sandra Bullock. I think the fact that she was in Bird Box made me definitely want to watch it. <laughs> that was a good straight-to-Netflix movie that uh, certainly caught the nation by storm there for a couple weeks. So uh, a good one there. Uh, who you got, Tim? Uh, Blake Lively. Just finished watching Gossip Girl, so loved it. Loved it. Great did not expect, <laughs> I did not expect Blake Lively on your answer there, but to each their own. So Sandra Bullock and Blake Lively gets the shout-outs for our film favorites. All right, Tim, you pick the next one between 1 and 19, but don't pick 7. Uh, we'll, go, we'll go 13. 13. Foreign country you'd most like to visit? Uh, Italy. Any reason why? Uh, me and Grant Lewis and Jake Thomas are going on a big Europe trip this summer, 34 days in Europe. 
and it's one of the places we're going, and I'm super excited. That does sound like a lot of fun. Uh, Rome, Florence, Naples? Rome, Florence, Milan, Positano. A lot of fun places. Indeed. All right, where do you want to go, Danielle? Well, if I could repeat myself, I would repeat Italy. But I'm actually um, planning on going to visit Jink, uh, Jink and Fee in Malaysia this summer. So I guess that would be my second choice. <laughs> Other side of the globe for you as he goes to Europe. So, yeah, that should be a qu a quite the trip as well. And uh, cool to have friends in different places like that yeah. to go see. All right, so you get to pick the last one. Don't pick uh, 13. Don't pick 7. Okay. Um, let's go with 19. 19. Favorite place to eat on or near campus? Oh, oh, I think I'd have to say Maru. I'm a big fan of sushi. Good choice there. Chipotle. Chipotle, certainly always a favorite among student athletes, especially the guys. What do you get at Chipotle? Burrito bowl, white rice, chicken, vegetables. Are, other you, stuff. are you more of a uh, fan of uh, rolls or straight sushi? What, is, what do they call the actual raw fish yeah um i eat a little bit of both but i'm definitely more of a fan of the cooked stuff you know just in case <laughs> right there with you all right well uh, congrats on a great career for both of you guys still you know lots to to compete for here and we look forward to seeing you guys on action on saturday and thanks for joining us for behind the blocks